Hey guys, this is Idara Iyang. Welcome back to my channel. Every day with Idara Iyang. If you've not yet subscribed, this is the right time to do so. Please click on that subscribe button and turn on the notification for more videos from me. Thank you. All right, guys, you're welcome back to my channel again. <laughs> Alright, today's video is going to be quite interesting. Um, as we all know, the Big Brother Nigeria reunion is going to start like very soon. I think in two weeks' time because the Big Brother audition, season seven audition, is already happening. It started on Sunday, and um, yeah, it's going to be for two weeks. It's going to last. Okay, it started on the fifteenth of this month May, and it's going to end on the thirtieth of this month May. Okay, so it's for two weeks. And um, based on how things usually is, after the re after the audition, the reunion show begins. That's why I'm saying that um, the reunion is going to start like very soon, like maybe in two weeks' time or something. And fingers crossed. So if you don't know, this channel is going to be like the hub for the show. All right. So you should click on that subscribe button. Like if you really want to be updated and stay up to date of, on the gist, you need to click on that subscribe button. You need to turn on the notification for more videos from me and just chill on it. <laughs> chill on it. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, um, so let's move on to the next gist. Um, as we all know, the AMVCA party and after party was like on the 15th of May. And it was quite interesting. I mean, I mean people are still watching. People are still like... Um, basically looking at it and just enjoying the show and uh, one of the dresses um that um a lot of dresses went viral but one that i had people talking was the one that um this lady ifunada you know ifunada was in the set of alex cc uh toby that's big brother i just said yeah ifunada and they were close alex and ifunada were very close um, until they quarreled and all. Anyways, a dress actually went viral. If you can look at the dress, the dress has a lot of details. I don't know if it's because of the way she's standing, but a lot, a lot of people were yabbing it and like it's not fine. Sometimes a lot, a lot of things happening to a dress can make it fine, but sometimes too, a lot of things happening to dress can make it not that attractive. I guess but I mean this is a party I guess it's not about being attractive I guess it's about like maybe sticking to the theme of the of the show of the party or something anyways but I would just say that it's a very it's um the dress is not just a dress the dress is like a statement I mean if you can look at the dress it has a lot of um, pictures a lot of um faces basically it's like it's making a statement okay and I think that's what she was going going for um but people said had a lot of things to say Gu guys guess how much this dress is according to if nada or not according to me according to if nada she says this dress is worth a hundred k she actually came and wrote this long thing because people are like oh it's crap it's this it's this and she was like she's she people don't understand creativity if you look at it this is a very creative creatively driven dress i guess and she wrote something she said my entire look is worth over 100k usd not naira guys 100,000 usd not 100,000 naira please do the match for me because um my head is like spinning this is like oh my god because in naira it's like 500 happy oh is it me it's not 500 it what two ah okay no it's 50 but it's still a lot now. I be 50 million naira. It's still a lot. I be it me that's <laughs> it's still a lot. My god, it's 50 million naira for just dress that, that you wear for one night. She said the entire look, so it's not a dress, it's, it's not just the dress, it's the dress, the hair stuff, the makeup, everything 100k that's 50 million and. She actually mentioned that it was made by Tinash Place Empire. And this, I'm, I'm not surprised. This is the type of clothes Tinash uh, Toyin Lawani. If you people don't know her, like Toyin Lawani, this type of dress she wears. I mean, she makes basically, she likes being creative. She doesn't tell you, Toyin Lawani I never told you that um, her dresses are classy. She has always told you that her dresses are creative. Because a lot of times, some of the dresses I see, it's not, to me, they're not classy. But they are always making a statement. She's always the dress will come here to 
always make a statement but it does not always look classy and flashy and pretty in my own opinion but it has always made a statement which is what Toy Lawani has said she's all about so 15 million naira <laughs> I will not start um, sewing clothes because if the money is like this I don't know um I, I saw an interesting comment on this someone was like um does she have their money safe the fact that the dress is worth 100k doesn't mean that it's fine and we should clap for you you waste 100k simple i'm like oh my god people are so mean anyways move on let's move on to another gist as we all know nini celebrated her birthday and um saga penned this nice text it said this is absolutely my favorite picture of you i'm not even sure why but i know it must have something to do with your big mouth and beautiful smile your smile is definitely your best feature and i pray you never lack reasons to smile always and forever happy birthday me and this is was so sweet you know Saga Nini are dating <laughs> i'm pretty sure everybody thinks the same thing it's really sweet like they, they are let's say their friendship is like contagious it's like they became friends first before dating which is like the best thing okay and saga seems to like adore her like it's like she's his world you know and she looks so beautiful on all of our um photo shoots she looks so so good and i also saw this video of saga and nene let's watch it Um, I go love um, I go love who, who ever said that love is not sweet does not know anything the person is sleeping on a bicycle as in on a big time bicycle anyways uh congratulations to Nini and I pray many more years for her and congratulations to Saga too because like it's both of them's uh, uh, birthday anyways I saw this story and I was like mm -mm, I need to bring it up to you guys someone posted and said my friend told me how she discovered that the new phone her husband gifted her a few months ago had spyware pre-installed that allowed him to remotely read her messages and keystrokes now he was also able to turn on the mic and record conversations ladies that gift may be more than a gift though my dear dude had recordings of conversations in our offices with friends in our car her phone was just a recorder he claims it was just testing her that she passed the test she says she's not doing again oh apparently he linked his pals with the spy where to and i'm like so that gift that your husband gave you or that your wife gave you or that your girlfriend gave you or that your boyfriend gave you that phone that, that iphone that you think oh my god jesus christ you can check out to, to be sure if it has fire because <laughs> oh my god some people had some things to say they were like and that shouldn't be a problem to her if she's clean mm, it's invasion of my privacy so it's a problem if you inquired this same man would have his phone under lock and key it's very possible i keep on saying this if you don't trust the person do not marry them common life is not too easy to be making it difficult all that stress for what then Anna said, I know trust is scarce in society these days, but nothing will destroy your relationship faster than your insecure nature. If you can't trust him or her, don't be with them. The man trust should be innocent until proven or um, otherwise. And that is that is my own too. I beg you cannot just be coming going around spying on all of my conversations like ah ah or ga. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on. Now I saw this thing um online about Likores and Emmanuel now let me first of all read before I say anything but I'll just read okay someone said this the person said you Charles of play destroyed that relationship people loved and adored so much than anything um you did the same thing to Kimopra and Nengi now it's this liquor rose if you want your girl single why did you go for for rose why didn't you go for Sasuke or Maria you are evil Charles then the person was like Charles of play all your girls are getting bigger in money by day day by day because you F them you why are you destroying their relationship with young men I'm not a shipper but for what you did to Emma Rose you will suffer together with that ignorant you call your girl liquor Rose hmm 
this person is very angry you chance of play destroyed that relationship people loved and adored did the same thing with kim and ninengi now people then said people responded to this were like drag the fan and leave him manual alone why are you pinning this page on him it's not like your lies are believable the same liquor rose they hated called her desperate one side that god of rose you are doing well rose to the world then someone wrote this long thing and said both the fans and the bloggers are um bloggers will be promoting hate and inciting violence and claim that they are defending their faves fans that are having life issues come to twitter to drag stroke defend people that didn't send you you all are messy a show that finished since last year leave these housemates alone if you love them then support them Whatever they are doing to make hands meet, we all are struggling in this life. Don't add to their problems. Stop this idea of defending why bring the other one down. These people are humans like us. They just want to make it. You too should focus on your lives. You can't abuse someone you don't know from money to night. Meanwhile, prices of things are high. No light, bad roads. Go and get your PVC and turn your anger towards the government. Get involved and vote for your best candidate to better our lives. Stop this BBN manners you don't get paid for defending anybody or get paid for trolling anybody every year you get a new faith and resume work don't you guys tired don't you guys get tired bloggers you can block me because you guys hate the truth <laughs> i don't know what was like bloggers and fans are m and crazy can someone just leave these guys to breathe in and out lions hmm Ignore truth icons blog a beg. Let them drag and create more agendas as possible. Who have ever called who had ever um blab from drags? That I didn't bleep. So Rose will survive these false allegations and drags a beg. Don't defend nada. Let her keep creating more and more. Defend everywhere except that blog. He who have ears, let him hear. You agree? Then they actually accused. Emmanuel of having a Bonner account that that text I read was Emmanuel's Bonner, Bonner account and this person was like Emmanuel has no Bonner account I beg most of the Shania I housemates actually don't have don't those ones don't care oh people wait they even repeat clothes it's the ones that like pressing their fans and doing things for people to hype them that might have one hmm Nengi Rebecca Hampson has a mind of her own. If she pulled out of a ship, she knows why, and we are cool with that. Hmm. Okay. Now, person where wear show, no shoe. Where no where did they pay them? I don't talk my own. She has cogent reasons that must have made Nengi say no to BBN ship. Even though I'm a shipper, but Charles is not doing good for the girls. He keeps interfering and destroying their relationship lives. It did that to Kim, or maybe I should also think it gives them hook up too. Very soon, this BBN will be on hold. By then, all this fan base thing will stop. It's seriously becoming very toxic. Just hope they don't get to the stage where fans will be fighting outside social media, and then the police will be involved. Just hope so, guys. What do you think about that? Like I had to read the whole thing because um, uh, so the gist is that um that post accusing Charles of play of being the reason why Liquor Rose, um, the Imara ship Pafuka um, um, and also accusing the Charles of play of being the reason why Nengi and um, the other one Kim are single or don't have a BBN ship um, they actually said that that is Emmanuel's Bonner account a lot of people actually believe that I don't know what to believe what do you guys think comment below in the comment section tell me do you think that that is Emmanuel's Bonner account or more on the streets of social media anything is possible i'm not saying it is and i'm also not saying it isn't because i don't know him but i'm just saying if it if it is i won't be surprised if it is emmanuel's Bonner account i will not be surprised because anything many weird things happen on the streets of social media and also i won't be surprised if he also is if it also isn't his Bonner account anyways um comment below and let me know what you think about that don't forget to like this video um, comment below. Let me know. Do you think that this is Emmanuel's um, Bonner account? Do you also think that Charles of Play is the reason why all these girls are single or why, why all of these girls are not in any BBN ship? Okay, Kim, Oprah, Nengi and um, the Corrodes. Comment below and let me know. Thank you very much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share and comment and I will see you in my next video. Thank you and bye.